Hello everyone, I'm Eliana Rich and welcome to my channel. Today's star online is called Evil Eye. It's uh, about situation when you feel or you would like to know if you have evil eye on you or sometimes we talk about, we call it like hex on you or curse on you or destructive negative influence. Uh, and the start of reading will show us, do you have it on you or not? Was it made intentionally or in unintentionally? Uh, what is uh, your acceptance? How do you accept the situations? Do you have fears or you you ignore it? Uh, also, who it might be and how to purify yourself. All right, so today we have two options number one and number two pick a car pick a number one of them and let's get started from the number one so first card will show me the general state of your feeling how do you feel uh, and I would like to detailize in details your physical feelings, how you physically feel and uh, how you feel mentally, psychologically. And uh, this first card, which is saying about your general feelings, it's uh, Five of Pentacles. Uh, on one hand, you feel comfortable, right? Uh, you don't feel any bad influence on, on you, right? Or evil eye. But still, you have some doubts. If you look at this card, you can see a person is fine, right? But the evil eye is right here looking at you. So, it means maybe you have some hesitations or doubts about this evil eye and you would like to know for sure but you don't feel it physically how do i know <laughs> this card emperor right it's saying no physically you feel perfect um you recover fast uh when you sleep and you like a fatigue is going away quickly right you know how to handle your physical state you know how to recover you you know how to sleep even if you have insomnia sometimes right you you handling it you keep it under your control look you see the person is stepped on it <laughs> that's how strong your physical state is how about your mental state right or psychological state or state of your mind we have here justice it's 50 50 sometimes you're so moody your mood is changing uh, one day you be you, you might be very optimistical right and another day you feel very pessimistic one day you are very cheered up another day you feel sad or depression you know it's 50 50 it's always fighting inside of you these two moods right the white and black um, uh, one day you have very positive attitude to everything and another day you're very negative right and you don't believe and you're ignoring or you're rejecting something um, and um, but in general you 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 know how to find the balance you know the key how to regulate it you're a very strong person because you know how to control your physical state and you know how to control your uh, mind state as well you see because you have all the keys to that <laughs> it's amazing all right let's ask do you have an evil eye on you or not at this moment when you're watching this video yes or no and this card is saying yes unfortunately that's why you feel it right you had these doubts your intuition was telling you maybe you had uh, some dreams or some signs of it maybe recently you feel like you are so unlucky or something happening to you um, 
this card is saying yes there is some evil eye on you and um, it's so it's been for a while you know by this card it's been done like a while ago it's not like very fresh one or if you feel in that way like recently maybe it's just strong enough all right uh, so but don't be afraid of it because there is just remember on any actions there is some actions uh, uh how to say opposite actions right you always can fight with it there is always way to handle it to fight and win so you just shouldn't be afraid of it okay because when you scare it when you are afraid of it it makes you weaker and it makes this negative energies and destructive energies be stronger towards you don't let it happen <laughs> all right let's ask now was it intentionally or not not intentionally intentionally or not ten of pentacles and nine of cups it's saying intentionally so this person you know put some evil eye on you intentionally and you know it was like a very uh, it's somehow connected to your family or to your team or you to your company you know it's like group of people it's uh, because because this person is very jealous to your career maybe or maybe to your private life or especially to your financial state for some of you or maybe you are very smart and lucky in something you see these people are playing the chess right so here's just jealousy and uh, or because you are more authoritative you have more respect from the others because look this person feels super miserable you are stronger that's why such people miserable people they're using such ways you know to take an advantage now let's ask who is this, this person it's this person is from your close people to you who can come to your home or your uh, you know like close friends or relatives or um, you know close uh, neighbors who is coming to you and who you trust to right or is this person is who you remain in touch or no but not very close to each other like your colleagues or classmates you know like that people yes this person is not very close to you it makes me feel better <laughs> because it's much worse when they are from you know like from your one company or friends especially if they're close friends you never know who you're dealing with right but now this card is showing this person is far away from you you do not let this be person to be very close to you uh, so probably it's like a colleague or just um, people somehow is jealous to you all right and let me ask how do you feel about it if you have fear towards this evil eye or you are just have strong mind you know to ignore it page of cups you know you don't have uh, fear it's good sign <laughs> Uh, but still you believe in it you believe it exists you believe it might happen you believe it might have some bad influence on you uh, but your fear is not that strong you can handle it but still somehow it impacts your emotions but 
it's not critical. It's it's not a crisis for you. It doesn't drive you crazy. You have some hesitation, some uncomfortable feelings, but not fear or phobia about it. It's good because it makes you stronger, right? Now let's ask how to purify. Do you need to go to the special professionals? like a professional magicians right who can handle it or you can do it by yourself at home let's ask do you need to go to that professional ones and it says no you can do it at home this card is stronger right you can do it at home by yourself uh, but still, this is the major arcana. If you will go to magicians, it's it's good too. So it's up to you how you feel comfortable, how you feel uh, safer or more protected when you will go to the professionals or you will do it at home. Feels like by tower you do not trust it, right? You want to go to professional, which is fine. But um, if you will do it at home, it's gonna be fine too. And let's ask how, which way, because there's different ways through fire, water, uh, you know, like uh, ground or air. So the card will tell you which way for you. It's through fire because this is the six of wands uh, so there is in here if you will google there is a lot of different ways using fire to purify yourself to destroy or remove that negative influence negative energy on you right it's very simple and easy uh, if you google and read it you will very uh, you know surprised how easy it is but do not think it's like a, a ridiculous or nothing no fire and it, it's very um, most important thing is to believe in it to believe what you're doing to believe like uh, fire is working out and purifying your aura right your energy your body around you uh, i mean energy around your body all right so try to do it and you will feel better you will see uh, also i would like to ask what re the result is gonna be after that uh, process right after that cleaning process <laughs> Uh, will you be purified completely or still they're gonna be or it's gonna be too weak to handle it by yourself queen of swords you will handle it because queen it's a very strong card by swords you're gonna handle it you see you are you have two swords at your hands you're very confident and comfortable so you will handle it you will be purified it will be gone so just just try to do it one more time one time and it will be enough i think all right so uh every time um when you feel physically or mentally or when you see the bad dreams you know just use this fire again fire uh, process right these cleaning moments and you will feel much better all right good luck and do not be afraid do not let them to you know to feel miserable or to be afraid no do not give them that present all right <laughs> now let's do for the number two number two first card will show us your general state physical state and your mind psychological state okay uh, general state is six of swords uh, you feel 
pretty good, but recently maybe you didn't feel very well, maybe you were a little bit upset or disappointed about something, you felt like sadness or, you know, like some that heavy feelings inside of you, right? Or physically maybe you didn't feel very well and you were, you were healing, right? You're still in a healing process by this card, but you're feeling better, better and better, much better. Your physical state is a king of pentacles. Here it's it's a strong card. It means you know how uh, how to handle your physical state. You if you were on a treatment recently, this treatment is working out, yeah, but still there is some moment to work on it, right? You still have some issues and or if there is no physical issues, you need to, you know, to support your body just to help it to be stronger, right? Right? to recover faster and um, maybe sometimes you feel like fatigue or exhaustion right so you need to help yourself a little bit and you know how to do it you see how um, you keep this um, coin it means you know the way how to treat it and how to handle it um, regarding your um, mind state, right? Your psychological, your emotional state, it's seven of wands. On one hand, you feel like very protected. On the other hand, sometimes you have some, uh, you know, like disbalanced state. Like, um, you, you know, something might destabilize you easily because you see this person feels protected on one hand on the other hand feels trapped at the same time because it's a half white and half black inside right it means you are trying to stay positive but from occasionally you feel like very um negative emotions or depression or um, disappointment or your mood is changing right um, but by this card you are strong enough to control your emotional state great let's ask do you have an evil eye on your not now at this moment yes or no eight of swords and seven of pentacles it says yes unfortunately you know and um i wouldn't say it's a very fresh one but uh it it wasn't done you know like a too long time ago it takes some time you know and you know you feel it somehow you know maybe somebody told you or you were talking about it or you received some sign you see this showing some sign you've got maybe it was your dream or you know or intuition but somehow you know you were doubting right like something is wrong or it's maybe just your intuition and fears let me ask was it done intentionally or unintentionally? You know, because sometimes there is some people, they have evil eye naturally, right? They do not do it intentionally, it just happens accidentally. It's possible. So intentionally or not intentionally. Okay, this card is saying there is no purpose on it, right? It wasn't done inten... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It is intentionally because this is the major arcana this is minor arcana this one is much stronger and it says yes intentionally by high priest oh my god these people went to that uh, you know like specialists you know what i mean right that specialist who is doing black magic who knows how to do it and oh it's no good i don't like it Okay, let's ask. Who is it? This person is very close to you, to your family, or just stays far away? Maybe you just work together or somehow uh, in touch with this person, but not very close. Boy, this card shows this person is close to you. 
you know you you are in touch very often and pretty close and that's why you are especially vulnerable for this person very close you trust this person somehow or you don't know who is it you think it's your friend or or a nice colleague at work right you're working together or something like that but this person is super jealous and evil person pretending to be your friend or pretending helping you you know it's no good all right let's ask what is your uh, state about it? What do you think or your attitude about it? Do you have any fever about it or not? Justice. No, your, your mind is very stable. You're not scared of it. You're ready to fight. You're ready to stand up for yourself. And you're ready to figure it out everything you you ready to handle it it's good great position you're very strong i like it and you will find the right way because this card is showing you have all the keys how to handle it and you have all the information and resources at your hands even more you see you have third hand who is keeping the fish it means you know someone or you will find someone who will help you to handle this um, nasty situation great all right let's ask do you need to go to that uh, you know professional ones to help you to purify it away from you right uh, or you can handle by yourself at home to go to professionals or by yourself this card is saying it is two major arcanas but this one is stronger and it says you can do it at home but at the same time, it's saying you can do it at home, but it might be not enough. So it will be helpful, but might be not like not fully enough, right? And if you go to um, to the specialist or professional ones who knows about that everything, right? Magicians, professional magicians, it will be stronger. This person will handle it great right so we'll help you so think over in which way you feel comfortable to go to magician to help you or you can do it by yourself if by yourself let's ask how in which way because there is four elements right to use and which way for you at this point and king of cups so water Water will help you. You have to use the water method to purify yourself, to remove this evil eye. And I can suggest you, I can advise you to use uh, salt water. So you can take a big bowl uh, of water, right? And um, put some uh, salt, any salt, doesn't matter which one do you have. Sea salt or just uh, regular salt, doesn't matter and uh, pour this water uh, through all your body with your head you know all together and that's how you will clean up your aura from this negative energy and uh, let me ask or you can just google and see there are different methods how to use water to you know to remove that evil eye uh, and let me ask the result what kind of result is going to be after this uh, cleaning process by yourself? Will it be gone fully or not yet? Not yet, unfortunately. Probably it's, um, you know, strong enough to handle it by yourself at home. It will be uh, becoming weaker. It will be gone partially because it's the major arcana but this way oh yeah, i mean minor arcana becoming weaker right but still it's showing there is some fight to continue so you can do it like three times just remember it has to be on the waxing moon right waxing moon i think when it's uh you know mm, 
becoming smaller, not growing moon. Um, so when it's becoming smaller, use this uh, salt water three times in a row. Maybe it will be, you know, more helpful. But still, if you will have some doubts inside of you, of course, would be great to, you know, to um, to go to the specialist if you trust them, of course. Uh, I want to ask because this card is saying you're still in the process, right? Let me ask. How about after three times, how you will, will be gone or not yet? <laughs> and you can tell, right? The answer, yes. So three of cups is saying you will handle it, but here is three people. It means you will have some company or assistance or your team or support who will help you to do it, who will be with you at this moment. You see how this woman powering water on your head? That's how you have to do it that, uh, with the salt water. And uh, mm, so you will not be alone in this process. Maybe your family members or friends will be helpful for you at this moment and you can handle it. So you will not let these evil people, you know, to ruin your life. No. And I would like to ask, do you need any additional protection after that? when you will be purified do you need additional protection protection it means that like some uh, talismans amulets like charms right which we use usually by two of cups it's saying yes wouldn't wouldn't hurt you know <laughs> so it's good to have and it might be offered to you so find someone who will offer it to you the uh, good one and you will feel more protected because look this person knows right it's a clothes has clothes and it's offering to you and you are naked it means you're not protected so you need some protection the answer is yes try to find some right and great and strong talismans or amulets for you and you will feel even just psychologically you will feel better and another thing which i use in my life my experience that's about my believing system right i have my church or temple or how to say this sacral place in my soul inside of me and we have to keep it clean the cleaner space is it inside it is inside of you the stronger you are the stronger protection you have and, and nobody no one evil eye or negative energy uh, can handle it can be stronger nothing can uh, you know ruin my aura because i'm protected from inside so I wish you to be happy and healthy. Bye.